So here we go. Here's a taste test. It's good, but it's very sweet. Hello all you shining stars. Welcome to my channel, Shining Star Soup. In today's video, it's going to be a bit of an unboxing um, from a company I'm actually not familiar with at all. Uh, they are, I believe, based out of Canada. Have you ever heard of bubble tea? Um, if you're watching this video, then you might have heard of it. Anyway, I was looking at Costco and I saw this, uh, this kit. And this kit is from a company called Tea Lease, which looks like it's a tea shop in Ontario, uh, Niagara on the Lake. Fun fact of the day, my husband actually uh, did live in Niagara Falls. I don't know if Niagara on the Lake and Niagara Falls is the same thing. But either way, I got a Baba, Baba tea kit. This was, I bought off of Costco, it was the only one they had available, very new to Costco, and I think it was like $70, so it, it's not cheap, and this is essentially, I couldn't find it for sale on their website, so I'm assuming that maybe this is only, uh, if you have a Costco membership, it's supposed to be like the jumbo kit that has everything it needs. Shipping took about three weeks. It was quite a quite a long shipping time. Anyway, let's um, let's open it. Let's see what we um, let's see what this kit has. This jumbo kit. Will I be able to create my own bubble tea after this? Uh, there is going to be two parts of this video. I'll try <laughs> where I actually will make make it. And, um, yeah, because why not? All right, so, nice little box. Kind of reminds me of any other box. Is it like David's Tea? It might be, but again, as far as I know, David's Tea does not do bubble tea. They do loose leaf. They do tea bags. All right, so, I, I might not even be saying Baba right. Yeah, hello, it's Baba Tea. You're looking for... Is it Baba Tea? <laughs> Hello, is it me you're looking for? Yeah. So, very, very nicely, nicely packaged. Let's see if I can do this so you guys can actually see what's going on here. Alright, so in this tea kit you do get a basic recipe. Modify ingredient portions to your preferences. I, I do, I'm, I'm a complete beginner. So, like, 100%, like, I, I've had maybe one bubble tea in my life <laughs> from, like, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, okay, so it does go into um, directions here, like how to prepare black and green loose leaf tea, chai tea, milk tea, um, how to prepare your milkshake. Am I going to be making a milkshake? Well, I don't know yet. Uh, and then there's, there's French, um... Oh, how to prepare baba, how to prepare your fruit powder drink, iced tea. Um, yeah, so these are the, the directions here, which I'm absolutely going to have to follow. This particular kit, again, bought from Costco, about $70. Uh, there are two, two of these little tumb tumblers. So this tumbler is, um, is going to need a wash. It's very, it's very cute. It's a big guy. So I'm assuming this is where you're going to put your, your bubble tea in. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, do not microwave. Good to know. Made in China. BPA free. Um, yeah. So you don't want to. But it is double. It is double walled. I don't know if you can see that. You get two of these, I believe. Um, you get one of these lids, which has a place for your, your straw right there. It has a nice little stopper. It's cute. Well, there's the other one. Yeah, so you get a set of the double, to the double walled. Um, I'm just going to set that off to the side. Um, you also get, ooh, a straw cleaner. These are actually really handy. I did get um, a tumbler from David's Tea that had a straw cleaner. And I didn't realize how handy it was until you actually 
uh, use it. So this strap cleaner has its own little thing. Now does this actually come with um, straws? Oh! Uh, oh! The straw cleaner is in the straw. So you do get your two plastic straws. Now these straws are specialty straws because they the purpose of this is bubble tea, right? So of course those tapioca, I think they're called tapioca beads for the bubble tea are going to have to come up the straw. Kind of makes me nervous because it's like, well, um, is there a risk of you choking on it? There is a risk of you choking on air. <laughs> so obviously, yes, there is going to be a bit of a risk. Obviously, be very careful. Uh, now, this one also comes with, this kit comes with everything you need. Uh, you get one bag. This is vacuum sealed. And I assume, I don't know if these are pre-cooked or not, or if you have to actually um, cook these. So there is quite a bit, and you get two of these. There is quite a bit of the little beads in here. Oh yeah. So for these ones, um, tapioca pearls is what they're called. And one cup of them um, goes in uh, five cups of water. You also put three tablespoons of sugar and you're supposed to boil your water, lower the temperature, add the tapioca, let it cook for 30 minutes. So you're gonna have to let these beads and um, the bubble, part of the bubble tea, uh, cook for 30 minutes before you even make your little um, happy bubble tea uh, package here. <laughs> so this video might end up being quite a long one because I'm already at seven minutes here. Uh, you drain the pearls, rinse under cool water, and then you add your sugar and you leave it in sugar. You leave them to soak in the sugar for an additional five minutes. So 35 minutes just on preparing the bubbles in your bubble tea alone. But in this package from Costco, you do get uh, two of these. And they are the, the exact same size. So if you're using one, I would say, I can't tell how much are actually in there, uh, but probably, I want to say it, probably three but you're making them in batches and you're going to add the bubbles, uh, the bubble part of the bubble tea to your liking. So maybe you like a little, maybe you like a lot, maybe you like none at all. Which I actually have gotten bubble tea without the bubbles. Shocker. And I actually like it a bit more. But for this video, I will be, I'll be going with the bubbles. bubbles. And of course you're going to have cuts in the video because I'm not making you sit here for 35 minutes to watch how the don't be speed ups again this is just my this is um first part of the video i'm filming got some green squigglies all right so the nice thing is it also includes whoop, five packs yeah so we have just regular black tea uh how many grams is in here uh, do you say? You're supposed to use one teaspoon of tea per 200 mils of water. So just feeling that, um, I'd say you probably at least have 12 cups of tea. Don't quote me on this. It doesn't have a measurement actually on it. So you got your black. You have your royal milk tea. I imagine this is definitely what you would want in your, in your baba. So this um, milk tea, the royal milk tea, is to make your bubble tea. And I imagine it's going to be a different consistency rather than what feels like blue sleeves. This is more of a powder. All right. You're learning this as we go. As I, I'm learning, you're learning. <laughs> All right. Uh, taro. Um, this is another one for your bubble tea. Yeah, definitely. We have uh, Japanese matcha milk tea. Uh, this is another one for the bubble tea. And uh, strawberry. So, I think the black tea is added to the bubble tea, if I am right. Um, okay, so it is optional. Of course it's optional to put the bubble pearls in 
in the tea to make your bubble tea after you prepare them. Again, they're gonna take a half hour to prepare before you start on the actual tea part of your bubble tea. Um, you can also make a milkshake. <laughs> I'm not gonna be making a milkshake. Oh, maybe, actually that, that would be interesting. Um, I'm trying to see where the black tea comes in. Um, okay, you can also make a milk tea, um, a black tea, bubbled black tea as well. So it looks like the black tea is just another variation of the, um, the bubble tea. All right, so you will see possibly several cuts in this video. Um, I'm going to film what I can. Uh, yeah, so if you decide, um, 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 if you decide to get this pack yourself from Costco, you will know exactly what to do. Because I'm just as confused. They have a YouTube page and I just could not follow along with it whatsoever. I'm a hands-on kind of person. You probably are too. Alright, welcome to the first cut of the video. I do apologize if my video quality is a bit low or if um, I'm hard to understand. Uh, like I said, there will be some cutscenes in this video just so we can make our first bubble tea. So <laughs> you're probably watching this video and as new as, as I am. All right, so I laid everything out right here. Um, don't mind the, the butter, any butter dish. I'm in Canada and our butter is shaped differently, like it's bigger. So regular butter dishes do not really hold butter well. So if you're wondering what that is, even if you weren't now, you know. All right, so it says to get one cup of the um, the tapioca pearls. Uh, so I opened a bag. I'm going to say the bag, there's two of them. They come with two cups, roughly, of these tapioca pearls that you do need to cook. Pretty much cook and boil and soak uh, before you can use it for your bubble tea. Now, if I'm correct, I'm assuming these are going to expand and get that black kind of look that bubble tea does have. Um, and one of these is supposed to create five cups of, um, five, five cups, I believe, or, yeah, I, either way, it's going to, you're going to get a lot, you're going to get a lot of these little, um, teas, these little bubbles in there. Uh, for what was left, I did package it in a Ziploc bag, squeeze out all the air. I'm not going to make all the bubbles at once. Uh, but when those bubbles are done, I am putting in them into a sealed container. So all I'm doing right now is just creating the tapioca pearls. I have five cups of hot water. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to boil the water at medium heat. Uh, when the, it starts to boil, you lower the temperature, you add the tapioca pearls, and you have to let it cook in the pot for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes are done, you cool the tapioca in um, in the pot for five minutes, right? But then you also got to drain, drain the pearls and then rinse them under cool water to get them that bouncy texture. And then you add three tablespoons of sugar, leave them to soak in the sugar for five more minutes. So I'm going to be doing cuts in the video. Um, so this is the first part. So I recommend gathering all your ingredients together, measuring everything out, uh, five cups of water. I'm just going to put that into my pot there. I was considering just boiling the water in the microwave, but for these bubble, bubble the tapioca pearls, I don't think that is going to be a good idea. But this is my, my first step. <laughs> Yay for water on the pot. Again, I'm I'm not an expert here. I'm not I'm not a chef. I'm not a an expert baker. I just cook the meals. All right. Um so you'll see another cut in the video. I will have a clip where I'm actually going to put the the tapioca pearls into the boiling water, do another cut, and so on and so forth. All right. So you'll see another cut in the video. Again, um, about two cups of the pearls is what you'll be provided in one pack and just going to be boiling the water and following the directions that 
were supplied in the box. Alright, so I have my water boiling over medium-high heat. I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes, but I'm following the directions to a T. And here is my one cup of the tapioca pearls. So you're supposed to add in, when that's ready, <laughs> you're supposed to uh, lower the temperature. So I'm going to lower it to two. Pour in the, the tapioca. Now, it doesn't say specifically if you're supposed to... Uh, Put a cover on it. You're supposed to put a cover. You're supposed to put a lid on it. Uh, the moment I poured those in, though, immediately they've just friggin' expanded on me. I was not expecting that. I'm not sure if I actually got that on camera. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you're supposed to leave those in there. Because it doesn't say anything about covering it, I am going to leave it uncovered. I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. All right, so you'll see another cut in the video and we will take a look at um, the tapioca after it's supposed to cool in the pot. All right. Okay, I gotta say one thing right off the bat. There are a lot of steps to creating uh, bubble tea, <laughs> we'll just say. All right, so this has been boiling for 30 minutes. Um, it kind of smells like burnt sugar. My whole kitchen smells like burnt sugar. So if you're familiar with the smell of burnt sugar, that's what this taste, this smells like. Don't know what it tastes like yet. All right, um, so the second part of the directions were after they have boiled for a half hour, you're supposed to let them cool in the same pot in the water for an additional five minutes. So we've hit five minutes. This is the consistency uh, of, the, of the bubbles, the tapioca pearls right now. And the next step is to drain these over cool water. All right, I'm just going to leave that there for a moment. I'm using my Betty Crocker. Uh, <laughs> oh, and if you're any, ever interested, Dove hand wash cream. Uh, very good. All right. Okay, now I'm going to, there's my cool water. Dawn is the best dishwasher soap ever. All right, so let's do this. Drain over cool water. So this was a cup of those tapioca pearls. Don't mind my cats in the background. We got some sticky leftovers left behind. I'm just gonna move this out of the Oh, well, we're going to keep it under the cool water. Well, not too bad. Now, it doesn't say how long you're supposed to... We are sticking that wine. There we go. Alright, that's good enough for now. So, I mean, preparing the pearls is going to be... I'm just going to run these under cool water. Okay, I see. So, when you're running these under cool water, look at the bounce. They are bouncing. Alright, we're just going to give that another couple moments here. We're going to count to 15. One. In my head. You don't need to hear me count out loud. All right, so uh, they're, they're bouncy, at least to me they're bouncy. They kind of remind me of really big caviar eggs. 
And then, you're supposed to put them in a bowl. All right. Here is three tablespoons of sugar. There is three tablespoons in there. And you're supposed to sprinkle the sugar, all of that sugar. So these are going to be sweet little pearls. Uh, yeah, add stir. So we got to stir that. Just gonna grab another spoon here. We're gonna give those. I'm just gonna mix them all together. So, what's the difference between folding, stirring, mixing? I'm gonna get this all incorporated in. They definitely are bouncy. All right, so they are, I'm surprised they're supposed to have that much sugar, but that's what it says. All right, so we're gonna give that five minutes and then you'll see another cut in the video. Okay, welcome to another cut in the video. We are going to prepare the Japanese matcha milk tea. I believe I'm doing this correctly. If I'm not, well, what do you do? <laughs> All right, so it says 250 mils of hot water. I'm just gonna pour that in there. And then you're supposed to add one tablespoon of powder. I'm using the Japanese matcha milk tea there is quite a bit in here so that should make plenty all right there's the one tablespoon you add it to that hot water and then you're supposed to add one to two tablespoons of sugar i'm just going to add one tablespoon just because there's a lot of sugar in those tapioca beads and then you're supposed to Whisk this together until powder and sugar are dissolved. I have my nice big cup there ready. I don't know if this is ASMR. It might be completely uh, too loud. All right. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, to the bottom of that, you're supposed to add, um, oh, you're supposed to pour this, uh, got it, 100 mils of uh, milk. That's going to make your powdered, the powder part of your drink. We'll set that off to the side. And then you're supposed to take your baba tea cup all right, and add three spoonfuls. I've got a tablespoon here. I'm just going to add one. It's all sticky. Reminds me of fish eggs, two and three. Okay, and then to this is soaking in sugar. It's three tablespoons of sugar, so. I don't know if that's supposed to stay like that in the sugar. Uh, I don't quite have two cups of ice. <laughs> I only have barely a cup. But you're supposed to pour that over the... See, with two cups, that should have filled this entire thing. But I don't have that. And then you pour in the powdered drink. All right. Okay, so this is what this looks like. I'm gonna grab my, my big spoon and my lid. And 
and we are going to do the test. Now it's been a long time since I've had uh, bubble tea. They have a place in West Simpton Mall beside the TNT supermarket. <sighs> All right, here we go. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to give it a try. Um, let's put the lid on properly. I'm just going to put you down for a moment here. You, you can look at some sugar. Okay, let's flip this around. Or you'll see a cut in the video if I haven't figured out how to flip it around. Yeah, I didn't figure out how to flip it around. Um, so here we go, here's the taste test. It's good, but it's very sweet. If you don't really like sweet, sweet stuff, um, maybe kind of... Oh, that is really good. Maybe tone down on the sugar a bit. Alright guys, um, so <laughs> that was my baba tea experience. I am, um, for 70 bucks, considering how much I got, uh, I think it was worth it. Definitely worth it. And I'm going to have some, some baba tea for, for a few months, <laughs> hopefully. Alright guys, take care and have a shiny start day. Thanks for watching my video. Tune in for more.